The Hidden Blade, a murder weapon so synonymous with the assassins, it can almost be considered an extension of their own body and identity. It has been one of the pillars and marquee aspects of the franchise since its implementation. The very first Assassin's Creed game in 2007, it's a concealed blade that the assassins wear on the inside of their wrists, and it's armed with a spring mechanism that can extend and retract the blade swiftly to aid the assassin perform a quick kill without the risk of detection. It's come to a point where it's almost impossible to imagine an Assassin's Creed game without. a hidden blade in it although odyssey made us go through that and substituted this fundamental weapon with leonidas's broken spear which sucked most would agree that if there is an assassin's creed game there has to be a hidden blade and over the years this prominent blade has seen a number of different alterations and variations to its build which makes it more different and functionally superior to its basic form there is a total of 7 variations of the hidden blade overall that's the classic one we see in assassin's creed 1 hidden blade with the gun and poison modification we see in assassin's creed 2 and brotherhood the hook blade version from revelation the turning blade from assassin's creed 3 the phantom blade from unity the hidden blade with the grappling hook from syndicate and the oh so dumb not so hidden fact not hidden at all blade from valhalla and most of them are unique in their own way and have a separate fan base for their functional capabilities and plain simple cool factor but which one is the best basically which version amongst the seven is the most efficient practical utilitarian and at the same time historically significant of them all now before we get into the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel it's free it's easy help a brother from the Creed, don't be a traitor. Now let's get into the list. On the last spot sits the stupidest hidden blade design I have ever seen. As I like to call it, the not so hidden blade we see in Valhalla. I don't know if the creators are trying to tell us that the Vikings are just dumb, or the creators are dumb themselves, because they've taken this amazing concept of a terrifying concealed weapon and turned it into a joke. Listen, the entire objective of the hidden blade is to be hidden, aka stay out of sight, so that the person wielding the blade may strike his or her target down. without exposing themselves now this blade is not special or different in any way except the fact that i wore wears it on the outside of his or her wrist on the outside are you kidding me this has to be the dumbest thing i've ever seen okay i get it vikings weren't afraid of anything and had an in your face attitude but seriously they took the entire thing the blade is based upon kicked the fundamentals right out of the way and repackaged this exceptional weapon into a joke i mean if you're going to wear it on the outside and show off you might as well just carry a big knife from Machete. I'll never get over the fact that they ruined the hidden blade like this. Never. I wasn't even gonna put it on the list to be honest. But then I thought I might as well vent out my frustrations here. So it's last, and guess what? It doesn't even deserve this spot. I'm usually not this emotional and angry and try to look at things objectively. But when the developers try to mock or test our intelligence to this degree, I just lose it. <sighs> Well, let's move on to number six now. The Phantom Blade in Unity. We got a hidden blade with the mini crossbow attached to it. That's it. End of the story. I'm kidding I'm kidding. I realize and recognize that the Phantom Blade has a lot of admirers, but on a serious note, from a functionality standpoint, it's a massive downgrade from what we saw in previous Assassin's Creed games. Cuz almost two centuries ago, Ezio was using a hidden blade with a gun, with a gun. And in the 1700s, Arno was carrying around a Phantom Blade. Not really a huge revamp now, is it? Think about this. The bolts for a Phantom Blade are bigger and kind of an awkward bit of ammunition to be carrying around, especially considering all the free running these assassins have to perform. They got to be at least 4 to 6 inches each with obviously sharp tips so basically they're just an accident waiting to happen from a real world perspective although they also have the ability to shoot berserker bolts and look cool if nothing else as far as being an improvement is in question well it would just be right to put the phantom blade on the 6th spot next up number 5 the grappling hook blade from assassin's creed syndicate this is where it starts getting good after two spots with mostly redundancy we see functionality and practicality take precedence the hidden blade with the grapnel is a real life saver granted the abilities are limited to navigational but at least it has something solid to offer if anybody ever got into a sticky situation in syndicate or in real life i'd say the grapnel hidden blade is just the right thing to get you out in one piece <laughs> Not that. And as far as eliminating your target without getting caught is concerned, the hidden blade is in its classic form, so that should more than suffice. And it's not just escaping a fight; it's a time saver too. Because with the map as big as Syndicate's, this is the perfect tool to get you from one place to another real fast. Not take away the pleasure of the stunning view of Victorian era London that the fast travel would. Not the best, but certainly a substantial upgrade. Next to number four, we see the turn blade from Assassin's Creed Three. This is my personal favorite. I feel the grip and the pariability. 
abilities this would provide the wielder of the blade are just insane. There isn't much of a modification, just one teeny tiny added detail. Once extended fully, the blade turns if the user wants it to and sits perfectly into the wielder's hands like a knife. But what that adds to functionality is a variety of things. A regular hidden blade cannot want to block an oncoming sword attack. Done. Need to save yourself from falling off of a tree? Just the right thing. Want to achieve the full force of your body weight while stabbing a target? Just made for that. Want to skin your hunt without getting blood all over your sleeves? Nothing better. And of course, it's concealed, as it should be. So it gives the user all the abilities of a handheld weapon without the risk of being exposed. One of the most functional and helpful weapons an assassin would ever have. I surely wish we got to see this version in Black Flag and Rogue. Now we get to the top three. And on the third spot, it's the pistol Poison Blade from Assassin's Creed. 2 and Brotherhood. This might just be the perfect killing instrument a man could possess. Then why is it so low, you might ask? Because it has zero navigational abilities. But now let's talk about the positives because it has a ton of those. In addition to the stealth kills one can achieve with the classic version, the hidden blade we see in Assassin's Creed 2 and Brotherhood has added benefits like delivering poison through the tip of your blade, an extremely accurate pistol, which is a fast loading one in Brotherhood, and it can even shoot poison darts on faraway targets. Basically, if you want to eliminate a villain, this version of the hidden blade will give you dozens of ways to do it without anyone ever knowing. As far as the pure assassination tool goes, it doesn't get any better. And despite having no navigational abilities, the pistol poison blade zooms past much of its competition because of its pure stealth abilities. And now for the second spot, the classic hidden blade. The most no BS approach to an assassination you could think of. It goes hand in hand with moving like a shadow and sending goddess due souls. This legendary weapon was invented a long time ago and we get to see it from the time Darius donned in Assassin's Creed Odyssey, The Legend of the First Blade, all the way until the time we see modern assassins wear a modified version of it. So it's 2000 plus years of tradition that has taken as many lives as it has saved. It surely pass over most of its competition through the brawn of historical significance and it will forever be the most consequential weapon the assassins have ever used. It could have easily taken the first spot, but since we are also taking into account the usefulness of the blade, second suits this legendary weapon just right. And now for the best version of the hidden blade of all time, the hook blade from Assassin's Creed Revelations. This is the ultimate gadget an assassin could ever possess bar none. It's literally the complete package. In addition to a pistol, a poison blade, poison darts and the classic blade, there's an additional hook blade attachment which makes navigation that much smoother. Suddenly, climbing super tall structures isn't so time consuming anymore. Grabbing ledges from a devastating vertical fall seems more of a reality. Although a normal person would dislocate his or her entire arm if they try to hook onto a ledge. Plus zip lining across the city, who can forget that bit. I feel this was the most complete version of the hidden blade we ever had the privilege of using. There are no flaws whatsoever. It is as practical as it is functional and compact. And I also feel this blade was so damn good that the creators ran out of ideas after this and added elements to this vintage blade that had no business being attached to it. Well, what can I say? Although this version of the blade has not been seen in Assassin's Creed games since 2011 in Revelations, it will always be stuck in my memory as the best hidden blade in the entire Assassin's Creed series. And with that, we reach the end of the video guys. Let me know in the comment section below which is your favorite hidden blade in the Assassin's Creed franchise. And if you like the video, don't forget to smash the like button. Also subscribe to the channel because there's so much Assassin's Creed content you wouldn't believe your eyes. And there's so much more on its way. That's it for today guys. Stay safe, stay strong and stay tuned. It's your boy VZX signing out.